Hello, welcome back and happy new year. Thanks for joining. My name is Beth and today I thought I wanted to talk about some of the books that I want to read in 2022. I guess we all have these kinds of books that we've been thinking about reading on and off for like weeks or months or years. I have made a list with 10 titles. Most of them I guess can be considered classics with books that I have been wanting to read for months or years. And I thought maybe this might be a good time to just uh, look at these titles and see if I want to read them in the course of this next year. Because I have seen that I have read quite a few books last year, so I thought maybe I can put in some classics that have been on my radar um, and just, you know, consciously try to read some of those books that have been on my list. This will, by the way, not be a proper like TBR because I am a very mood driven reader. So if there are books on the list that I don't feel like reading in the course of this year, I just, I won't read them. The first book on the list is also the only one that I have on me as a physical copy at the moment and that is The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This novel was first published in 1868 and 69 and it is about a young man called Mishkin who comes back to St. Petersburg from um, Switzerland where he was in a sanatorium. And he is a grown man but Mishkin is also very good-hearted and guileless and forgiving and that's why he is sometimes mistakenly considered to be somewhat of an idiot in Russian society. That is about everything that I know about the novel and I will also shamefully admit that I have never read something by Dostoevsky before and since this just happens to be uh, in my possession that is the novel that I will start with. Next on the list is The Seventh Cross by Anna Segers. This is a German novel, but I think it was first published in English in 1942. Um, and it is about seven inmates who flee from a concentration camp. Um, and that is about everything that I know about that novel, because I don't want to know too much. I'm guessing it will be pretty bleak but I'm generally very interested in novels about and from the time around the Second World War and it's been on my radar for a while and so I want to read that this year probably. Another German novel that I want to read this year is Little Man What Now by Hans Fallada. This was first published in 1932 and it is about a young couple that moves to Berlin. Um, I think the man has lost his job and that's why they move to Berlin to um, try, you know, to make a living for themselves. And the couple wants to be happy, but that's kind of not too easy in Berlin during the time of the world economic crisis. I did see an adaptation of Little Man What Now as a theatre piece quite a few years ago and I remember that I loved it. But I also remember that it was not exactly an uplifting story, but I really want to read this and I think either last year or a couple of years ago um, the original version, like the full text original version of Little Man What Now was published. So I thought maybe I can get my hands on that and read it. Next on the list is Noli Metangere by José Rizal. This is a novel from 1887. I don't actually know what the story is about, but I know that the novel treats the injustices that the Filipino people had to endure from the Spanish colonizers, both from political people and from religious people, I think. And it is like considered to be the Filipino novel and one of the founding texts or like the founding text of the Filipino, what do you call it, patriotism, national conscious, you probably know what I mean. I do own the book, I don't have it on me at the moment, but it should be accessible enough to read it sometime during this year because I already own it. Next on the list we have The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. 
This is a satirical novel about uh, Russian society in the early 1930s. I think it was written between the end of the 20s and like 1940. As far as I read, the devil comes to Moscow in this book and he's up to quite some mischief in the city and with the people as a punishment for their corruption and hypocrisy and such shenanigans. And I read that this is quite the absurd and uh, satirical novel, so I thought it might be interesting to read it. Then I have another German novel on the list, which is The Sandman by E.T.A. Hoffmann. This is from 1816 and I actually have about no clue what this novel is about, but it is pretty usual for us to read it in school, but I never read it in school, as in I never had it on my curriculum in school. It is not just uh, one of the many books in school that I just never read, but I never had it on the curriculum, but I always heard that it was very good and very interesting and kind of dark. So I thought maybe I would check it out uh, soon. I also think it's pretty short, so I guess it is something that would be very possible to read because it doesn't exactly have like 700 pages. Then we have the notebooks of Malte Lauritz Brigge by Rainer Maria Rilke. This is another German title. Uh, it was published in 1910 and it is written in the form of a diary. It is about Malte, our Danish protagonist who comes to Paris. I think he wants to become a poet, if I remember correctly. And it is about his impressions of the city, about the city itself, about his experiences there. And this novel influenced like the general imagination of Paris as like the metropolis of the early 20th century. I was supposed to read this book once in university. I never finished it, but that was not because I didn't like it. So I thought I'd give the novel another shot because I do remember liking it, but still, I never finished it. I actually only read like maybe the first 50 pages. So this is one of the books where I thought, well, I might want to try to reread this in order to know whether I like it or not, because I don't remember not liking it. But yeah. Then I wrote down Dead Souls by Nikolai Gogol from 1842. This is another Russian novel and it's about a guy named Pavel Chichikov who travels the country and I think he buys the souls of deceased people. That is about everything I know about the novel. It is supposed to be quite grotesque and absurd and satirical. Um, I have read other stories by Nikolai Gogol, which I loved, so I thought I might want to read his only novel. The next title that I wrote down is also a German title, The Blue Angel, which in German is actually called Professor Unrat, and that would translate more or less to Professor Garbage. This book is from 1905, and it is about a teacher who falls for a dancer with kind of a dubious reputation. And that book was made into a film called The Blue Angel with Marlene Dietrich, I have never watched that film, but maybe I will after reading the book. I have only read something by Thomas Mann, which was The Magic Mountain, and something by Klaus Mann, which was Meeting Point in Infinity. And therefore I thought I might want to try reading something by one of the other Manns. And then the last title that I wrote down is another German title, Die Judenbuche, The Jews Beach, Beach with double E, not EA by Annette von droste hülshoff which I guess is a pain to pronounce in English. This is a very short novel from 1842 and everything that I know about it is that it is a murder mystery that takes place in a fictional village in Westphalia. That is a region in like the northern half, roughly, of Germany. That is literally everything that I know about this book, but I have heard the name Annette von droste hülshoff quite a few times during school, so I guess it cannot hurt to read something by her. And also, I did want to have more than one woman on this list, so this is like the one book where I would say I haven't thought about reading it for like years, as with, for example, The Idiot or Dead Souls, but um, Nonetheless, I guess 
it might be quite interesting to read it. So yeah, those were some titles that I thought about reading this year. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope that you found this list interesting. If you have further recommendations, uh, please write them in the comments and let me know what you think. And maybe I'll see you in the next one. Bye.